just a little bit past the Tualatin, the road to Keokuk Falls takes off, an old gravel road. It's a getaway that takes effort, planning, and persistence. It's rugged, it's treacherous. You'd want to have a good map, a compass, uh, preferably a GPS so you wouldn't get lost. Not everyone can do this. This isn't a uh, take your entire family and go on a stroll hike. You have to be prepared. You have to be fit. Fit enough to tackle steep, relentless, and unforgiving terrain along the upper Tualatin River to reach Keokuts Falls that flows from the Oregon Coast Range. Flanked by basalt columns and cliffs, Keokuts Falls is a timeless and serene moment. Untamed, you know, that's the, that's the big thing. It's all still wild. But just 30 miles east, the river slows and invites visitors to enjoy something more peaceful and relaxing at the Farmington Paddle Launch. Kind of a central point between Beaverton and Hillsboro, and is right on the river. They're doing some habitat restoration that we've been involved in with partners as well, planting trees, helping to restore some of the natural ecology to the area. If you look around uh, the the site, you know you'll find picnic tables where people can uh, you know enjoy an outdoor lunch. Uh, there are benches where you can just stop and enjoy the the scenery and the wildlife. There's all kinds of bird species that come and visit the site. The Farmington Paddle Launch was built through a partnership between Metro and Clean Water Services. The launch provides a safe and accessible location to set out on the Tualatin River Trail. It only drops about this much over 40 miles. And in the summer, oftentimes you can put in at a location, you can paddle upstream for an hour, then paddle downstream. The Tualatin River Trail totals 40 miles of flatwater paddling from Hillsboro to West Lynn. Sandra Amolo and her friend Jessica are having a ball. Very relaxing. New perspective on things. Yeah, and it's kind of a very easy, it's not very difficult for us newcomers, new right. <laughs> beginners. The Farmington site in particular is the first new site on the water trail um, in, I'd say, close to a decade. And so for us, it's a way to open up community engagement uh, more towards the west side of our watershed. A lot of people don't really know that it's right in their backyards or they can just drive to, to a, a park somewhere and have access to the river. I definitely think it's an under, undervalued resource. And it's a resource waiting for you anytime. You don't have to portage, you don't have to have a shuttle. So it's a wonderful thing. Along the Tualatin River with photographer Jeff Kastner. Oh, this is gorgeous. Grant McComey, KGW.